Hello my lovely humans, welcome to Starlight and Stitches. Thank you so so much for joining me here today. If you like yarn and crochet and crafts and crochet book reviews, end of the month finished project videos, yarn hauls, all sorts of lovely crafty goodness, then do hit subscribe and join my subscribers because my subscribers are the best. So if you are also the best, come and join us. This is our lovely happy positive place on the internet. Today, uh, this is the first video of April, so I'm going to show you everything that I have made throughout the month of March. March. It's not a huge amount last month, uh, but I think what I have done is quality over quantity. Um, I've had a bit of uh, a bit of a, a last couple of months, as a lot of you know, so I haven't had an awful lot of time for crocheting, but I am very happy with what I have achieved. I'm going to show you everything that I have made now, so we'll get straight into it. Uh, I found a lovely little channel on YouTube, which I will put a link in the description down below. Um, to that channel and they make some really really cute key rings and I would like to start making some key rings ready for uh, hopefully doing a little act of crochet kindness. I tend to do them once a year um, and I like making key rings because it's something then people can keep but carry around with them. So the projects that I found from this channel, first of all this little earth key ring. How cute is that? Um, not difficult at all. Uh, for this one I used my, uh, what's it called, Infinity Hearts Rose 84 yarn uh, and a two and a half millimetre hook. So this lovely little planet earth key ring there. Um, these key ring bits by the way, I got like a pack of a hundred from Amazon for less than, less than a tenner. They're like they were really really cheap. Um, yeah, so I've got a bunch of these key rings ready to go. So that was the first one that I made. And then from the same channel, they had this lovely Planet Sutton. Uh, now I tried to be funky with this and I used um, this sort of multicolored yarn. It's um, a Poundland yarn. So it's like not the best quality, but for tiny little projects like this, it's actually perfect. And then for the, the ring of Sutton, I have uh, this sort of sparkly black yarn um which was just like an augment that i had but again that's another little key ring ready to um go out into the world at some point over the next couple of months um i made another key ring that i don't actually have with me uh because it was a gift for my mum um here in the uk we celebrate mother's day on a different day to some of you guys overseas and our mother's day was right at the beginning of the month so i made my mum this little bunny key ring um her chinese symbol uh like birth symbol for the year of her birth uh she's a rabbit um and she likes bunnies so i made her a little bunny key ring to go along with some of the other presents that i bought for her after i made the bunny key ring um i wanted to use some of that lovely chunky pastel springtime colored yarn that i got when i did my aldi haul a little while ago and um i knew i wanted to make something that would last a long time and I wanted to make something that I could wear so I have made this uh, it's like a chunky not quite cropped but not long hexi cardi um, I do like a hexagon cardigan they're so easy to make um, and this was really simple it worked up super quick because it's really chunky it's going to be great for springtime when it's not raining <laughs> Uh, at the moment it is pouring with rain outside but I think this cardigan is lovely I've done sort of opposite colours on either side um, and then uh, trimmed the wristbands with different colours I've got it here so one wristband is trimmed in blue one is trimmed in pink uh, and then on the opposite sides like the edging is done in pink and the edging is done in blue. Um, so yeah, it's come out really well. It weighs a ton because it is some chunky yarn, but I just, I think it's so pretty and I love the colors. I'm really happy with it. It is a chunky cardigan though. Um, but a lot of the cardigans that I have made, I'm sorry, I've just kicked my tripod. A lot of the cardigans and things that I have made previously are quite sort of light and drapey. So it's a different kind of cardigan for me. So I'm very, very happy with that. And I got to use up some of my balls of Aldi yarn so that's a, a wodge from that little stash that I made so I'm really really pleased and I love it a lot um if you need a pattern for a hexicardi uh the one that I initially followed was by a channel called Il J. I will link her hexagon cardi pattern down below I just found it easy to follow there's tons of them across YouTube um but that's the one that I followed and I find her instructions quite easy to follow um and she's really really cool as well so if you need a, an instructional guide 
that's where I would go to. So after I made my cardigan, which did take a little while, I am a slow crocheter, so um, it did take a little while, but I made some Easter baskets for my daughter. Um, I made, first of all, this one, <laughs> uh, with a little handle there. Uh, it's just a circle and then up at the edges, and that's it. Um, nice and easy, and then I just did the, the handle like that. Um, I used several different yarns in this, all held together in one thread. I think there's about six different yarns in there, like all finer weight ones that I wouldn't likely use for anything else, um, but they look lovely when put together. So that's the first Easter basket, and then I realised I couldn't fit all her chocolate in there. So I then made a second Easter basket. Oh, look at those colours. Do you recognise those colours? Um, I had like little scrap ends left from some of the balls that I used for my cardigan. So I did a stripe of each colour in that basket. Um, I also did a little scalloped edge on this one because it's slightly bigger than the first one. Um, and the basket handle is a bit bigger. It has got, um, what's it called? Pipe cleaners in the handle, but it's not holding it up because um, it's too long. <laughs> so it's not really worth it um but yeah i put all her easter chocolates in these baskets and they were ready for her for easter day so they were a nice little project and she can keep them in her room now have them on her dressing table with some nice things in and then we haven't got we haven't got much i told you we haven't got much um i saw a pattern on instagram um and i don't know i don't know where this has come from but i've got a bit of a thing for frogs at the moment um I find them like crochet patterns for frogs really, really cute. And I've made some frogs previously, um, but I found this crochet pattern and I had to make it. Um, it's this little guy. <laughs> uh, this is Greg. Abigail has named it. This actually went into Abigail's Easter basket. So this is Greg. He's got four little legs and two like little bulby eyes. He's got a little patch on his tummy here. Uh, so this is Greg the frog. This particular one, so you can see the size there next to my face. He is made uh, using a four and a half millimeter hook. Um, oh, he's got a little, he's got a little bit of yarn sticking out there. Abigail has been playing with him. He is a favorite already. Um, so this was made using a four and a half millimeter hook. Uh, and I use the Sheep G's Chunky Monkey yarn in the neon green because I love the neon green. And that is that little frog. Um, this is a really easy pattern. I did pay for the pattern on Etsy. Um, I, like I say, I'll put a link down below um, because it is a great pattern. And I do think that these would make nice key rings. I do, I think they would make lovely little key rings. Um, so after I made him, I made one more thing. I made a chunky version. <laughs> um, and I put some little, uh, the little kawaii eyes. Um, and this is, again, using just some ends left of that really chunky yarn that I used for my cardigan that I got from Aldi. Obviously, the finish on something like this isn't as nice as something like this, but I just thought that that was quite adorable, having um, a little one and a big one. Um, but this is my favourite. I love him. He's so cute. Um, that's what I have made throughout March. So, several key rings, Planet Earth, Saturn bunny, a cardigan, two Easter baskets and two froggies. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Considering um, it's been so busy the last couple of months, um, we've had a lot going on. I'm pretty pleased with what I've made. Let me know what you've been up to and what you've been making. Um, I love hearing about all the things that you've been doing and uh, I will try to get back to replying to all of my comments. I'm so sorry to all of you that have left comments and I haven't replied to yet. Um, it's it's been it's been a stressful couple of months but hopefully now I should be all right it should be good and I should be able to get back to replying to everyone like I always have done previously so tell me about what you've been making um let me know anything that you have got in the works give me some inspiration um I hope that you are looking after yourselves and looking after your loved ones I wish you a wonderful week and I will see you next Wednesday bye bye <music>